it's a no-brainer that we need the sun. So, what if it disappeared today? What would happen and what could humans do about it? From a drastic temperature change, to weird environmental changes, you will definitely be surprised about some of the side effects. First of all, let's reassure you with the fact that the Sun is 330,000 times the mass of Earth and our 4.6 billion year old Sun has enough fuel to keep the Earth comfortable for up to another 5.5 billion years before it finally expires. What would happen to us if for no reason the Sun suddenly disappeared? You might be surprised to find out that in the first 8 minutes of that happening, you wouldn't notice anything that's because of the speed of light which travels 186,000 miles a second meaning that the demise of the sun wouldn't be evident for 8 minutes and 20 seconds the same goes for gravity, which also travels at the speed of light with the sun and its gravitational pull on our planet gone however, there would be nothing for the earth to orbit. This would cause our planet to travel in a straight line out of our system headed for points unknown in our galaxy and it would be incredibly dark. Dark enough cause people to become bewildered and fearful causing panics riots looting and worse as humankind tries to make some sense of this horrifying event for a while we'd still be able to get by with electrical and fossil fuel providers of energy. Plant life wouldn't be so lucky because once we realize the sun has disappeared photosynthesis, which vegetation relies on for survival would no longer be possible. Since the process enables plants to take in carbon dioxide and expel oxygen for the rest of us, we wouldn't have that option to renew the composition of our atmosphere. That said the lack of oxygen wouldn't be an immediate worried. It would take thousands of years before atmosphere oxygen would be used up. But the lack of photosynthesis means all small plants would be past their best within weeks or even days. Besides getting dark the earth would get a lot colder currently when you factor in the variance of temperatures at the poles and in the tropics. The average temperature of the earth is about 57 degrees Fahrenheit within a week of the sun's disappearance the mercury would drop to 32 degrees, which is the point where water freezes, but after a year that temperature would drop to negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit making the earth's surface virtually uninhabitable for humans and most animals besides freezing for the rest of our days. A lot of us would also likely starve due to the dwindling animal and plant population the oceans would also have frozen over turning earth into a planet almost totally covered by ice. Fortunately not every part of the earth would be so brutal a few places on the planet where sources of geothermal heat exist from active volcanoes to hot springs and geysers could provide enough heat to survive. Those would be spots on the Earth and near major breaks in the tectonic plates from the geysers in California and Yellowstone Park to the volcanoes in Hawaii and Iceland. The source of that heat is caused by the compression of mass when the Earth was formed. The Earth's core is actually liquefied rock generating enough heat to raise the mercury to 9000 degrees Fahrenheit some of that heat escapes to the surface via breaks in this surface, which would still make parts of the planet habitable for anyone lucky enough to live there for other populations with the foresight of finding out how to survive without the sun underground communities powered by geothermal heat from the Earth's core would provide plenty of energy that was once available on the surface. But whoever was still left on the planet would be met by an even more horrific side effect associated with the sun's absence. Ten years after our nearest star disappeared oxygen in the atmosphere would also start to liquefy and eventually freeze that would make the air next to impossible to breathe delivering the final goodbye to all land-based life. Only one part of the world would be habitable and that would be underneath miles and miles of ice covering the ocean. Water insulated by all that ice from the formidable atmosphere above and insulated by natural ocean floor vents that allow for heat to enter the ocean from the Earth's core underneath. Most of that life would be very tiny mostly microbes organisms and even some worms and shellfish would thrive on the energy provided by geothermal heat for billions of years. That life would also be oblivious to the wild and crazy journey the Earth would have taken during that time. After a billion years the Earth would have traveled roughly 600,000 light years spanning the length of the Milky Way and speeding by thousands of stars. Ironically how many of those stars would have provided the Earth with what it needed just like the Sun before it disappeared.